Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Thomas Spark. Welcome back to another video. Here on YouTube, I do privacy reviews and VPN reviews. And one of my main subjects I also focus on is how to prevent yourself from getting doxxed and harassed online. I can't tell you how many people have DM'd me on Discord saying, hey, someone hacked my computer. Uh, someone is trying to leak my name. And in most of those cases, there are simple steps to take to make sure that you are protected. And in this video, I'm going to be outlining those steps. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about how Creeps Online can find your IRL information and how to prevent it. So guys, while the main focus of my channel is VPNs and rating them on VPNTierlist.com, I also exclusively kind of discuss data broker removal tools and rate them in tier lists as well and provide you with the best discount for those services. In this video, I'm going to be using Incogni. Right now, it has a 20 day discount going on. You could get a special exclusive deal, maybe around $90. And the price will be um, a discount as well throughout the year. If you click on my link in the description down below, I'm not sponsored by Incogni right now. I'm just an affiliate for them, which means if you click on the link, you'll get a discount and I'll get a small cut back at no extra cost to you. But if you don't want to help support the channel, you could go check it out on your own or maybe check out a different service if you don't like the sound of this one. But I've reviewed this one on my channel as well um, extensively. So check out that review on Incogni if you're not convinced by this video. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and discuss some of the tips right now. So, guys, what exactly is at risk online? You know, how do people find your information? Well, generally what happens is people find your first name and from here they can actually ascertain a lot. But what's more deadly is if someone does find your last name. And you might be wondering, well, how did they find this information? Generally, people just give it out. Maybe it's someone you trusted. Maybe you accidentally listed it somewhere. Maybe someone found your LinkedIn based on a picture you uploaded. There's many ways to find out your full name, but if someone does find out your full name and you haven't removed your information from certain websites, that's good enough to get your phone number, your address, and even the address and phone numbers of your families. So let me show you what I'm talking about right now. So here we go, we have white pages. This is just one out of like maybe 300 or more websites just like this one. Let's say your name is Jon Snow. Someone just knows that, they don't even know your state ZD or zip or anything like that. But maybe they know something else about you. Maybe they know you're based in California and maybe you have more of a unique name than Jon Snow. Actually having a more unique name is actually more dangerous than having a common name. If your name is Jon Smith, for example, you're gonna be a lot more anonymous than something like uh, Ezekiel Alexander Spadarechi or something like that. If that's your name, sorry, you're kind of screwed. Sorry, if that's your name out there. But your name is so unique, it's very easy to pinpoint you. But let's take, for example, your name is Jon Snow, even though it probably wasn't. And someone says, if someone knows you live in the Sacramento area because you've mentioned it before. They might be able to find you as John D. Snow and this example here. And as you can see, you can see various information here. Some websites you do have to pay, but some websites even let you view this information for free. And that is pretty much how it's done. So all they really need to know is your first and last name, and they could find information on these websites. So you might be wondering, well, if it's as simple as that, why don't I just remove my information from these websites? And you can do that. Um, that's why I recommend doing it preemptively before a creep finds your information, because if they do find your information here and save it on the computer, you can't really do anything about it. But these services like Incogni go to these different websites. They'll ask these websites to remove your data. You could do this individually, but they're, like I said, there's tons and tons of websites out there, just like white pages and they'll be listed in the Google results. So a service like Incogni, will pay and they'll do it for you every month. Um, over the course of a year, they might go to three to 400 different websites, depending on how many your name is on, and they'll remove it from all of these. That saves you tons of time, and this is the one I personally use as well. So like I said, I'll be putting a link in the description down below if you wanna use this one. But like I said, there are also other services out there. Just from my research, this is the best one. So that is one way people are able to creep and harass you. They find out your stuff right here from these data broker websites that pretty much just host your information for free for people to look at. It's pretty shady, right? Now I did kind of want to briefly touch on, you know, how people might find your name even. Um, and you know, you might be saying, well, if they don't know my name, I'm going to be fine, right? But it might be easier to find your name than you think. And there are various tools to kind of do this. Um, it's kind of funny. I used to watch a show called Catfish. And if you ever want a way to kind of see how people are find out who is who on the internet, you might consider watching that show. I think it's called by Neve Shulman and stuff like that. It actually was a movie. And you could do 
various things like shown on the show, like Google image search. So let's say we take a picture of myself, like right here. Um, we could post it here. So we're uploading this image of me. So this image I just literally took right now and it's nowhere on the internet. Um, so results for people are limited to searching a larger area. So it wasn't able to find me. Um, but you know, since I am widely available on the internet, you know, maybe, um, let's see if I could find the image source. I couldn't really find anything. So I just took it. Um, but let me show you guys again of an example. Maybe let's see if it could find me here. So did find people kind of look like me. Um, but let me show you a better example. Let's say you're Brad Pitt. Someone very famous. So let's say someone had a picture of you or something like that. Theoretically, they could find you this way. Um, but let's see here. So look, there you go, Brad Pitt. So this is one way that people could find you. Maybe you have the same profile picture on LinkedIn or something like that on Discord. The reason it didn't find me specifically is because I just took this picture right now and that picture never existed before on the internet. But, you know, let's say you have a picture on your Reddit profile, your Discord or something like that, and you have the same picture on your LinkedIn and Facebook. That's a way people could kind of cross tabulate and find your name and thus, like I showed you, find other information about you. So that's one way creeps kind of find your information. Another way people might find information about you, let's say you send them a picture of yourself and you had named it actually after yourself. Um, photos do have metadata on them and you can see from this picture of Brad Pitt that it was actually named Brad Pitt and like I said, that could be a way of identifying whoever took that picture. So if you find a picture of yourself and you name it and you send it to someone, they may be able to view that metadata of the picture. There are also several other ways to kind of ascertain who you are online and how creeps might harass you. They might send you an email that is tricking you or something like that. Um, and that, that's definitely a way to um, get your information. Um, so what I would recommend for you guys to do is there are various tests on the internet like this one right here from Google. So what this basically does is it helps you look at different emails and see if you're getting tricked or not, if someone's trying to steal your information and so on. Um, this is kind of mainly for scammers and stuff like that. But let's say there's like some creep out there trying to harass you and get information from you. They might use these same kind of methods. So you might want to take a quiz like this to just kind of educate yourself on, you know, what you're being um, harassed by um, or leaking information. So let's go ahead and like see here, snow.gmail.com. I'll give you, show you kind of example. So it just kind of looks at different things and you might want to take a test like this to kind of educate yourself so you don't get tricked in kind of various email scams that could identify you as well. Let's go ahead and discuss some other methodologies you might want to use in order to prevent creeps from following you online. Some basic common sense stuff that might not be basic common sense to you if you haven't been using the internet long, or you just haven't put a lot of thought in this kind of thing. I would say the number one thing is never tell anyone your real life name online, um, or maybe even your first name, especially not your last name, depending on how unique your name is. That's step one. Number two, don't put your real life name and stuff like that in your various screen names or anything like that. Number three, don't discuss your real life location or anything like that in various forums and communities where people could track that information back to you. Number four, if you're trusting someone on Discord online that you've never met IRL, be very suspicious and never fully commit to giving them information about yourself because if you have something, some disagreement or something like that, this is often how people become harassed and creeped on online is it's a former friend or something like that, that it turned kind of rogue. So when someone's online and you've never met them in real life, there's always a possibility they turn to turn into a creep or harasser. And you need to be mind of that and just be a little bit paranoid. I would su suggest at the end of the day, you always need to think before sharing on any kind of social media out there, especially on various social media things, interacting with strangers. I would recommend sending your Instagram profile to private, Facebook profile to private, Always set all your online profiles to private. That way strangers can't really find and creep on you as easily. But just know that even some of these platforms, it's kind of hard to do that perfectly, especially with stuff like Facebook. So at the end of the day, um, just be aware of that. But lastly, I wanna talk about what can you do exactly if a creep has already found your IRL name? What can you do if they've already found your phone number, your address and stuff like this? Maybe even your computer has been hacked. And this is when I will refer you to the nuke approach. What is the nuke approach? Well, basically you just wanna nuke everything. 
Basically, you want to delete all your online accounts and make a brand new set of accounts with brand new passwords. If you are worried that your computer is compromised, you're definitely going to want to reset your computer, kind of wipe it. And it's pretty easy to do that based on your operating system that you're using. Just look up on Google something like how to wipe my Windows computer or how to wipe my Mac. And you'll find plenty of guides and stuff like that and resources if you're worried your computer is compromised. Getting rid of a virus and some snooping, you really just have to wipe it. And that's really the only way to do it. That's why I call it the nuke approach. So like I said, wiping your computer, making all new social media accounts is probably the way to go and with new passwords as well. You might even wipe, want to wipe your phone. Um, you might want to block anyone who you suspect could be identified as a creep or alongside or associated with creeps or harassers or anything like that. You really just kind of want to nuke everything and start fresh. And, you know, if someone still knows your name, your address and stuff like that, and they're threatening you or doxing or you or anything like that, of course, you always want to be aware of that if possible. If in case it gets serious, you might need to report it to some authorities because you don't want anything bad to happen. Um, but lots of times what you need to do is just move on, block those people, don't engage with them. And after time, they'll probably forget about you and go bother someone else. And of course, you always want to kind of take personal security seriously as well. Maybe get some pepper spray, some smart home equipment like a ring doorbell or various other kind of surveillance equipment if you're worried about your personal safety as well. All right, guys, that's my broad overview of what to do if a creep is harassing you. Um, and they find out your IRL information. And let me know if any of this helped in the description down below. Join my Discord server if you're worried about this. I always have people talking in there about various issues like this. Don't DM me personally without asking first, just because it's polite on Discord. Um, but I'm always there to discuss, you know, what to do in steps like this. But again, if you're panicking, just do the nuke approach. All right, guys, thanks for seeing you in this video. And I'll see you again very soon.